everyone. This class is for anyone wanting to show their shoulders a little TLC. So is this the shoulder workout where you're gonna push yourself heavy with the weights and make big strength gains? No, the focus is more foundational shoulder work, more mobility, stability. And we can't talk about the shoulders without talking about the back because our shoulder blades live on our back, okay? So we will get shoulders, we'll get some mid-back work in here as well. For equipment, you are just going to need a long resistance band, and then you're gonna want something for padding under your forehead during the first flow. I'm using a dish towel that I've just folded into a little pad, okay? That's it. Now, the format of this class is Pilates mini flows. If you're new to this class format, the best way to describe it is to picture a traditional Pilates mat class that kind of flows from start to finish. We essentially take a little snippet out of that flow and then treat it like a circuit, going through the flow, resting, and repeating. If we do bilateral work, you complete just two sets of the circuits. You just go through it twice. Um, and then if it's unilateral work, you will complete the flow four times. They're quick flows, two, three minute long sequences. You go through them continuously, then rest before repeating. We're gonna start class with a quick warm up, and we'll finish up with a quick cool down. Before each flow, I will give you a preview of what to expect. And with all that said, let's get into our warm up. We won't use our band for it, so you can put it off to the side. Oh, before we start our warm up, I have one thing to ask of you. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. Um, this month, January, you're getting a new video almost every single day. If you want to follow along with a calendar, I have that as well, linked below in the video description. Um, even when we're not doing a whole month of workouts though, new classes posted multiple times a week, so make sure you are subscribed. Okay, now we can get to class. I want you to come to a tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're gonna warm it up with a cat cow. So as you inhale, I want you to open up through the chest, reach your tailbone up to the ceiling, gaze shifts up. And then as you exhale, I want you to round your spine up towards the ceiling, push the mat away, tailbone drops down. Inhale, we find that spinal extension. Exhale, flexion. One more time. And then I want you to elongate the spine to neutral. We're gonna do a fluid thread the needle. On an inhale, take your right elbow up, twisting open to the right. And then as you exhale, thread it under your left, bending into your left elbow, cheek to the mat. Inhale, open twist. Exhale, thread it through. So this rotation is coming through our mid spine. Open across the chest. As you do that open twist, thread it through. One more time this side. And then let's come through center and we take it over to the other side. Inhale, left elbow up, twist open to the left, close the twist, exhale, cheek to the mat. One more time. I want you to come through tabletop and then I want you to shift your weight back so your bum is kind of hovering over your calves. And in this hinge position, long spine, palms face in towards each other, I want you to sweep the arms up and then back behind you. Now, as we do this, we're not changing the shape of our spine. So you wanna maintain neutral length through the back of the neck. Mobilizing through that shoulder joint without compensating. We're gonna turn this into a circle in three, two, turn it into a circle. So the arms sweep up overhead, they circle down and around. Big circles, but not so big that you totally flare open through the rib cage. And now let's switch direction of those circles. Doing this work in a hinged position, so we kind of establish that connection to the mid back, I mentioned very important when we address shoulders. One more circle. And then from here, I just want you to sit your bum back on your heels in a kneeling position. If this is uncomfortable, you can do it cross-legged. So I want you to start elbows bent, hands lightly behind your ears, neutral spine. So we're gonna open up through the elbows without flaring the ribs. You're gonna straighten your arms out. Now you're going to rotate in the shoulder joint. Don't just flip the palms. I want the rotation coming from here. So the whole arm rotates, palms face back. And then you're gonna bend the elbows, bringing your hands behind your back. You're gonna let the elbows come forward. The shoulders can kind of round forward. Now let's open up, broad across the collarbones, retract your shoulder blades. Straighten those arms out. Rotate, palms face forward. Bend the elbows. Keep going like that. 
Shoulder blades glide in towards each other. Going through that one more time. Return it to our starting position. All right, and now we're gonna grab our band. I'm gonna show you a quick preview of our first flow. We're gonna do it in a prone position. We're gonna wrap the band around our hands. Palms are gonna face up. Forehead stays down to start. We're just gonna lift and lower the arms. Doesn't have to be a big movement. We're then gonna combo. It's gonna be a lift of the arms. It's going to be a pullback behind your head. Reach the arms forward, lower them down. Our forehead is still staying down for that. From there, we're going to hold that pullback position and we're gonna do a little spinal extension, staying long and low. It's just up a couple inches and down, extending through the mid spine. We're then gonna hold that little extension and we're gonna reach the arms overhead and pull them back. And then we finish with a hold with the arms overhead in that low spinal extension. We're gonna go through this one just twice. Let's go. Okay, so the band is gonna be wrapped around your hands and we are going to come into a prone position. So you're gonna lay down on your stomach and you want that padding under your forehead so that you can comfortably keep your head down without your nose getting smushed into the mat. So I have a big nose, so I'm just gonna to have to <laughs> fold this one more time over. Now I want you to take your legs and separate them about as wide as your mat and you can do what's most comfortable for you, either parallel or externally rotated through the legs so that the toes point out. I want you to find a position that's most comfortable for your pelvis and lower back on this. Now, from here, we're gonna stretch those arms forward and I want your thumbs pointing up. You're bracing through the abdominals and we're gonna start with a lift and lower the arms. So I recommend on an exhale, you feel that gentle abdominal brace and you reach long through the arms and up. There's gentle tension on the resistance band maintaining length through the back of your neck. Now coming up, all we're gonna do is combo this with a pull down. So we'll bend through the elbows, cactusing them, pulling the band behind our head. Forehead will still stay down on our pad. So let's go, so we lift. Now bend the elbows, pull that band behind your head. Reach those arms forward lower down. So challenging mobility through that shoulder joint here. We're keeping the legs down, but keep them active. So you're pressing them firmly into the floor. Don't lose that abdominal brace because I don't want you to tilt the pelvis forward and dump into your lower back. We're gonna hold the pull down up next, and we're gonna come into some spinal extension. Forehead will leave the pad. Let's go. So I want you to pull that band behind your head. And you're gonna hold it here. Now reach long through the spine, come up into a little extension, lower down, forehead to your pad, and lift. Now this extension is coming from your mid spine. Think base of the shoulder blades. Stay open through the chest. Think of gliding your shoulder blades down towards your bum just a little bit. Don't dump into the lower back. The lift comes from your mid spine. We're gonna hold the extension and reach and pull the arms up next. Let's go hold that extension. Whoop. Reach the arms, pull them back. This does not have to be a very high extension. Maintain length of the back of your neck. We have a hold coming up. We'll just reach the arms forward and hold there. Let's go, reach those arms forward, 15 seconds, hold here. Can you go a little longer? Maybe you rise up a smidge. Keep that abdominal brace. Whoo, and rest. One cheek to the mat. Bend your knees, windshield wiper. Awesome job. All right, let's press back for a quick shell stretch. So it's like a child's pose, but you're gonna round your spine up towards the ceiling. Just get some flexion to counter that extension work. And now we're gonna go through that whole thing one more time. So we're gonna come down to a prone position. 
Again, forehead will start down on the pad. You're gonna separate your legs wide. You're gonna externally rotate through the legs if that's more comfortable or you can stay parallel, but I suggest wide so that we don't dump into the lower back. Forehead to your pad, thumbs point up, palms face in. We start with the lift and lower. Exhale, lift and lower. Gentle tension pulling out on the band. If you're tight to the shoulders, just have your arms wider. And if you need a challenge, then you would just choke up on the band to create a little more tension. Coming up, we'll combo this with that pull down. Think of reaching the pinky side of your arm away and up. All right, combo. We lift, bend the elbows, pull the band behind your head. Reach the arms forward, lower them down. Forehead stays down, so we're not doing the spinal extension yet. You got it last time through this first flow. We will hold the pull back up next and do a spinal extension. So let's go bend those elbows, cactus them behind your back, and now we lift from the mid spine and up. Maintain length through the back of your neck so as you lift up, we're not craning the neck. Open across our chest. Draw those shoulder blades gently together and down your spine. Keep pulling apart on the band. We'll hold the extension and we'll reach and pull up next. All right, let's hold that low extension. Oop, reach forward. Bad mistake on my part, hooking my timer to my tank top because my band keeps getting caught in it. Maintain this low extension. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Final hold coming up. Let's go reach those arms forward. Length through the spine. Woo, and done. Other cheek to the mat, bend your knees. Windshield wiper side to side. And let's take a shell stretch, hands under shoulders. Push yourself back into that active child's pose, rounding your spine up towards the ceiling. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick preview of our second flow. You have options for the second flow. You can be kneeling or you can be standing. I don't feel like changing the height of my camera, so I'm gonna kneel for this one. You can absolutely do it standing. You could also do it in a split lunge position, okay? Whatever's comfortable for you. And I'm actually sitting on a yoga block um, so that my hips are a little elevated. So we are going to start with a lateral rotation, and then we will combo that with a bent raise. From there, it's going to be a lateral extension, and then we're gonna turn that lateral extension into more of a sweep. So the elbow pulls in, you take it out, you sweep it up overhead, start to sweep it down, pull the elbow in. We then combo that sweep with a shoulder press at the top. And to finish, elbow is bent at 90, and we're going to rotate forearm down, forearm up and back, just like that. So because we're doing unilateral work, we're gonna go through this one four times, alternating sides. Let's go. Band looped around our hands. You want there to be some gentle tension on it when your forearms are parallel, okay? You don't want it totally loose. We're sitting upright and tall. We're gonna start with the right arm moving. So left arm is gonna stay anchored as it is. Both elbows bent at 90 by your sides, open through the chest. We're gonna start with that lateral rotation. So we're peeling open on this side. As you do, we're getting rotator cuff here. We stay open across the chest. Up next, all we will do is we'll combo this. So we'll still do the lateral rotation, but then we'll add in the bent raise. And this upper body series, again, all right, combo it. So one of those lateral rotations, and then we lift the elbow up and down. So this work we're doing, it's mobility and stability work within the shoulder joint. 
Is this meant to be the heaviest, hardest class you've ever done for your shoulders? No, not really our goal today. If you do need to make it more challenging, then you just go a little heavier with your band or you choke up on it. And if you need it to be a little lighter, you go lighter with the band. Lateral extension is up next. So we're gonna hold open like this and then you reach up and out and draw the elbow back in. Each move is done for 30 seconds in this flow. So just every 30 seconds, we switch it up. Now coming up next, when we take this into our sweep, you may wanna change your, the position of your anchor hand. So you may wanna take your left hand and anchor it across to your hip. So we're gonna take it into a sweep. It starts like that lateral extension, then you just sweep it up and over and down. I'm just gonna increase tension. Sweep it up overhead, pull it down. So we're getting upward and downward rotation of the scapula here. We're going to add in a shoulder press at the top now. So you sweep it up, bend the elbow, press it up, sweep it down. So we have one final change. We'll hold the elbow bent up tall and goal post, and then we will rotate. Let's go. So elbow bent at 90, keeping it lifted, you rotate down and back. So really think about where this movement is originating. Humerus in shoulder joint. So this may just be 90 degrees of movement. You may go a little beyond 90 degrees. So keep the elbow lifted. Woo, and rest. Okay, just 30 seconds to rest. We're gonna do that whole thing on the other side. So you can roll out the shoulders, a couple shoulder rolls back, forward. And then we sit up tall or stand up tall. If you're standing, elbows bent, palms face in towards each other. Left arm's gonna do the moving, right is our anchor. We will start with that lateral rotation. Let's go. I love squeaky napping and on top of his pile of pillows, little prince in the pee. <laughs> we'll combo it with that bent raise up next. Let's go combo it out. Elbow lifts and lowers, rotate open. So we're getting upward rotation of the scapula as we lift. We get that rotator cuff so we peel open. Lateral extension is up next. All right, hold that lateral rotation and we reach up and out and then draw the elbow back in. You can play around with the position of your anchoring arm, especially when we get to the next one. I like to bring it to my hip bone. To make it harder, you choke up on the band. If you need to make it lighter, widen your grip. Let's take it into a sweep. Up, sweep and pull it down. Add in the shoulder press at the top, bend the elbow down, press it up overhead, sweep to lower, take it up, shoulder press. Oh, 
controlled, continuous movement within that shoulder joint. You have one final variation to get through. You will hold that goal post position and we will rotate. Well, let's go. So elbow bent at 90, keep the elbow lifted at shoulder height, rotate, peel it open, rotate it down. If doing this with a band is not working, maybe you have a history of rotator cuff issues, it's just not happening, do it body weight only, okay? Just go through the movement. Or you could always do it holding a light hand weight instead. Woo, rest, take 30. All right, we're at the halfway point. We're gonna do that one more time each side. I planned this class selfishly because my shoulders just have not been feeling great lately. And I've noticed when I've done strength workouts where I am using heavy weights and doing shoulder exercises, they're just not feeling good. And so I was like, I need to peel it back, go back to foundational work and uh, show them a little love. So that's what this class is. All right, we're gonna go back to the right side working. We'll start with that lateral rotation, forearms bent at 90 and let's go peel it open and bring it back. Let's make sure that we're not letting our shoulders round forward. So tall through the spine, open across the chest, but without flaring open through the ribs. So we keep that gentle abdominal engagement, continue to breathe through the movements. Combo with the bent raise. Take it to lateral extension. So lateral rotation, hold that rotation and extend it up and out and bring it back in. Maintain equal length through both sides of your waist when you do this. So notice if you're crunching into one side, don't want you to do that. Stay tall and centered. We'll turn this into a sweep up next. And again, you can change your anchoring arm when we do so, let's go. And I like to choke up on the band a little bit. Sweep it up overhead and down, out and up. Kind of like you're making a snow angel. Speaking of snow angel, well, I don't think we're getting snow. I think it's just gonna be rain. I'm filming this right before Christmas and we're supposed to drive down to New Jersey um, to my husband's mom's house. And so of course a storm is hitting like on the day we need to drive down. So that'll be fun. <laughs> Cobble with the shoulder press, sweep it overhead, bend the elbow, bring it up. Joe is from the Jersey Shore, like very close to where they film the Jersey Shore, close to Seaside Heights, but not in Seaside Heights. And that is like, <laughs> it was the most exciting thing when I first started dating him. And he lives like 10 minutes from the Jersey Shore house. I was obsessed with that show in college. It's like, we have to go. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna hold at the top and do that rotation. So elbow stays at shoulder height. So challenge this range of motion, go slow. See if you can get a little past 90. So can you get this forearm back a little bit? Can you get it a little beyond parallel to the floor? Woo, rest, 30 seconds. Okay, one more time. Take it over to the left, and then you get your third and final combo. Resistance band will actually be optional in the third combo. I'm gonna use it, um, but you can just do it body weight only. All right, elbows bent at 90, open through the chest, connected to our abdominals, upright neutral pelvis. We'll start with that lateral rotation. It is a shoulder focus ex, uh, workout, but what the rest of our body is doing plays a role. Everything's connected. So we wanna make sure we have the correct posture so that we're not creating compensations and we're really targeting the shoulder joint. I need to choke up a little bit. 
There we go. Combo it with the bent raise. Don't let the tension on the band just pull your arm back in quickly. I want it slow in. Lateral extension. Take it out, bring it in. When we take it into the sweep, you can change the position of your anchor arm. I like to choke up on the band a little bit and bring the hand into my hip. Let's go. Sweep it up, pull it down. Now make sure this anchor shoulder isn't starting to roll forward, okay? So we're staying open. That gentle connection to our mid-back. Combo with the shoulder press. Sweep it up, bend, straighten, sweep it down. I don't know about you all, but this feels so good. It's like a gentle burn building up but a good burn, a manageable burn. This is exactly what my shoulders needed. <laughs> a little bit of gentle attention. Okay, let's hold that goal post position and we rotate. Again, really think about where the rotation is coming from. I don't just want you to rotate through the elbow, it's here, whole arm, open and close. Keep the elbow lifted. If the band is too intense, do this one body weight. Woo, and done, awesome job. All right, you have one more flow to get through. I'm gonna give you a quick preview of it. So this final one is a quick two minute flow. We're gonna go through it four times. We start in a tabletop position and it's gonna be a single arm serratus push up. So what that looks like from the back is you're retracting and protracting your shoulder blade. So it's gliding into midline and then you're pushing the mat away, sending it wide, okay? So it looks like that, but in a tabletop position. From there, we're just gonna combo, so it's gonna be one of those serratus push-ups, and then we rotate open, and you're going to kick the band out, open across the chest, reverse it. You can do this without the band. From there, we do a quick position change. So just from the tabletop, we whoop, sit down like this with the ankles crossed, and we're gonna come into a side bend, really reaching the hips up, but focusing on that initial push of the shoulder. And then we finish with just a hold in that side bend. All right, so we're gonna alternate sides, four times total, and then we cool it down, let's go. We'll start with the right arm as our base, band wrapped around your arms, it is our, around your hands, it is optional though. So you're gonna spread out through the right hand, plant it down on the ground, and then I want you to take your left elbow and just bend it into your side, open across the chest, knees under hips, we're gonna start with that serratus push up on the right. So you're retracting and protracting that shoulder blade. It glides into midline and then you push the mat away, filling the space between that shoulder blade and your spine. We're staying straight through our right elbow, but it's unlocked, okay? So just a little micro bend for me. Coming up, we're gonna combo this with a rotation open. So when we protract, when we push that mat away, we'll then rotate open towards the left. So let's go, so push the mat away, rotate open, press the band wide. Elbow comes back in, square it off, retract, protract, rotate, increase tension. Now 
Now I don't want you to over rotate through your neck, okay? So when you do that rotation open, it's coming from your mid spine and your neck just follows. So it doesn't have to be huge. So we have a transition coming up. You're gonna keep your right hand planted where it is. You're gonna ditch the band in the left hand. We're gonna to come to sit on our right hip, ankles crossed. So you ditch the band in your left hand and we're gonna cross the ankles, bringing left in front of right. You want your hand out a little in front of the shoulder. Now from here, you're going to push the mat away, really active through here, and then lift the hips up coming into a side bend. And then bend, lowering your hips back down. So you don't want your feet in too close to your butt because you want to be able to lift up into this side plank. Initial press is most important. Push the mat away, engage here, and then sweep it up. So for alignment, your ankles and your wrists are in one line. Coming up, we'll finish with a quick hold in the side bend. It'll be just 15 seconds. Let's go, hold in the side bend. Really push the mat away, stable through the shoulder, reaching the hips up towards the ceiling. And rest, woo, okay. So 30 seconds here, we're gonna repeat that on the other side. Again, band is optional, it just adds in a little resistance when we do that rotation, but you can absolutely do this body weight only. So now the left side is going to be our base. Spread out through the left hand, plant that hand down, tabletop position, and then just remove your right hand. So the elbow can just be in towards your side. Don't let the shoulder dump forward though, broad across those collarbones. We'll start with that serratus push-up, let's go. So your left arm is straight, shoulder blade glides across the back of your rib cage, retract, protract. Maintain length of the back of your neck here, so as you do this, you're not letting your head hang down. Coming up, we'll combo this. You'll push the mat away so the shoulder blade will be protracted, and then you'll rotate open to the right. Let's go, protract, rotate, kick the band across your chest and reverse it. So coming up, we're gonna transition as quickly as possible. You'll be mirroring me, left hand will stay down. We'll release the band in our right hand, ankles will be crossed, we'll come into that side bend. Let's go. So you're going to cross at the ankles, hand is out a little farther than your shoulder, don't have your feet in too close to you. Push the floor away, engage through the lats, side bend, sweep it up. Here for a full minute to account for that transition time, okay? Again, think, push, feel the lat engagement, then those hips lift up. We'll finish with a hold at the top. Let's go, hold at the top in that side bend. You're pushing the mat away, hips reach up. Hips are stacked, so you might need to take this top hip pull forward a little bit. And done. Okay, halfway there, We're gonna do it once more either side. So we'll take it back with right arm as the base. You don't have to switch direction, I'm just doing it so that I'm facing you when we get to the second half of the flow. So we spread out through the left hand, plant it down, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. 
and then we take the left arm away, elbow can just be bent in towards your side. Our right arm is straight, but it's not locked out and hyperextended, so there's just a little softness through it. And let's go retract, protract. So you have two minutes of work on each side, and then you're done. Combo it, so protract, rotate open, kick the band across. These serratus push-ups, the retraction and protraction, it's a great exercise to help improve your push-up if that is something you were working on. You can do it in tabletop. You can also do it in a full plank, either on your forearms or straight arms. So we have that transition coming up. Right hand stays planted, right hip to the floor, ankles crossed. Let's go, release the band in your left hand. Your right hand is out a little farther forward than your shoulders. Feet are crossed, wrist and ankles in one long line. We push the mat away, bring it up and down. It's that initial push, engage to the side body, and then hips lift. Working on shoulder stability here. We're approaching that final hold, and then you're done with this side. Let's go hold. So we're not sinking down into the shoulder. We push the mat away. Hips arc up to the ceiling. Don't hold your breath. And done. Woo, 30 seconds. All right, we're going through that one final time. On the left, you have two minutes of work and then we cool it down. Let's do this. Spread out through that left hand, plant it down, knees under hips, and then we take the elbow away. The right elbow away, I should say. <laughs> left arm stays straight, but not locked. And then we do that serratus push up, shoulder blade gliding in towards midline and then gliding wide towards your armpit. Add in the rotation, so protract, push the mat away, then rotate open and kick the band across. Reverse it. Retract, protract, rotate. That rotation comes from the mid spine. We're not sinking into our lower back. So we keep that abdominal engagement, long neutral spine. Transition coming up next, release the band in your right hand. We'll cross those ankles. Woo, all right, quick transition, cross the ankles, hand planted out a little farther than the shoulders, ankles crossed, push them out away, feel that side body engagement, lift those hips up and bring it down. You got it, you have under a minute of work to go. Lift on your exhale.
Hold at the top to finish. 15 seconds, you got it. Push the mat away. Strong and stable through that bottom shoulder. And done, lower it down. Awesome work. Come to a comfortable cross-legged position. We'll just do a couple quick stretches to cool it down. Hope your shoulders are feeling good after that. So I want you to interlace the fingers behind your back. Push the knuckles away, opening up across the front of your chest, but without flaring the ribs. And then just lift the arms up to whatever point is comfortable. Releasing the interlace, I want you to tent your fingertips to either side. Start with just a fluid side bend. One arm sweeps over and then take it to the other direction. Next time you sweep it over to the right, I want you to stay in this side bend. And then I want you to rotate your chest towards the floor and really reach this left arm forward and down towards the mat. So you get this nice stretch through your back. With every inhale, think of directing that breath into the mid back area. And then let's take it over to the other side. So you're going to open up side bend up and over to the left. Rotate chest to the floor, really reach, reach, reach this right arm forward and then lower it down and breathe into your mid back. One more breath here. Untwist, come up through center. Let's finish with one breath together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, let it go. And that is your class. Awesome work today. If you enjoyed class, again, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. And if you enjoyed class, I would love it if you would consider leaving a super thanks. It is like YouTube's version of tipping. It's a little button at the bottom of all the videos. It's a heart with a little dollar sign in the center. If you click on that, it gives you some options. I so appreciate your support as I continue to grow my channel. Thanks for working out with me today, and I will see you next time.